Yes, no, ladies and gentlemen, I am Hasha Plays, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you so much for joining in, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stick around because things are about to go down, and I mean, literally, we are at the end of the game. The climax is happening. Um, we are now on our way to uh, Mr. Ollivander. We're gonna go make the new wand. Um, I'm not entirely sure how things will turn out. There's a lot of side quests still that I need to do. Um, and I think I should do this. I should do these quests. Uh, come on, knock it. Because, um, yeah, I need to hit 30, level 37 anyways for the final quest. Um, so if I don't hit 37, because I'm 36 right now, if I don't hit 37, then obviously it's, we can't do the final quest. So I just want to get this done. Um, I'm going to focus the final quest as, as soon as we're 20, 37. Um, once we hit level 37, I'm just going to um, focus that. Um, get the main quest done. Where is the library? Why does it pop me out here? I have no idea where I am right now. I don't recognize this part of the castle. Yeah, I really don't recognize Lumos. this part of the castle. Oh, classroom. Yeah, okay. I know something about the the music and yes, yeah, just so nice. This world that we live in, it's 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 absolutely so beautiful, man. Like the stuff we can create, it's so beautiful. But all we are always focus on, it's just always the bad, man. Listen to that. How can you not love that? Okay. Well, anyways, enough with that. Um, that was weird. Sounds okay. So I just need to get to the library, which I know exactly where it is, if I can find the great hall. Um. Jesus, damn, we go, man. Okay, this is good. This is okay. Um, yeah, we're in a dungeon now, aren't we? <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. This is fine. I know when we're gonna come out. Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Let me just teleport, because I don't want to waste more time, man. Um, so library, annex, library. There we go. <laughs> It's that simple, man. <laughs> All I had to do was just click on library. Um, but yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm not crying. You are. Somebody help! I've been kidnapped! Put it on. Okay. Sir, are you alright? You seem to be in some distress. Alright? Do I look alright? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I have more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. Well, actually, technically, and I do my only have one home. No less. They pay filthy fees to steal my other frame. Um, I'm not sure that's true. Okay. Oh, oh dear. That sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's where my other frame hung. Harvel and Place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my... Okay, perfect, bro. I'll see what I can find out. Yeah. Off you go, then. I'm not I'm not in the mood to listen to 7,000 lines of dialogue of the same nonsense. I need to attend history class, so by Professor Benz attend history class. Jeez, we haven't even done this. Um base class where sour. Um Honestly we're close enough just to walk in. Uh, I hate pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, okay, no, no, take your time. I think I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the moon calves made. Oh shit, we're still doing that. Yeah, I just want to hit 37. As soon as we hit 37, we're done. So. <sighs> S 
Sebastian here. I wonder if Sebastian will actually attend classes. Well, that's obviously ominous. Um, the inside dude. It's Professor. Okay. Oh, a ghost professor. How unique. In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, <laughs> uh, we will address the devastating effects it had no, I'm on not the away, bro. milling industry. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. Ever, ever. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Oh, God damn it. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that look above walk? it contain a myriad interesting artifacts. At least we're out of the classroom. Leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in the world seem dull. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellion. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Eirgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I wonder the name. To die. Lord Gok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here. Let the field go back to the Grimmel Weft, this is the skull of a fame teller Grimmel Weft, who, skill needless, uh, who skilled needlework repaired countless witches and was its coast in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752, thus preventing them from taking ill during damage battle. Blah blah blah. Oh yeah. Oh just shut up dude, I'm just I'm just, I'm just done with this, I can't. Uh collective field back to uh Alf Alf Lumos. I've always said to end myself Rebellion. the cat It's one of these statues. There we go. Waving knights. Nope. Not that one. You can read it. Just pause the video. It's fine. Oh, that actually was it, wasn't it? But I'm dying of boredom right now. There we go. Wagadu's history is, well, a bit different than that of Hogwarts. No. One. Yes. It's called Hogwarts Legacy, not Wagadu Legacy. Thank you. Speak. Speak, you silly bitch. Professor, you seem to be glitch. Many stairs. Lumos. Can I see your panties? Oh. Professor.
can't speak to him, so what's the point? I might need to fail the set, um, this thing. Oh, he actually comes again. You silly bitch. Rebellion. Depulsive. Okay. Let's fail this quest quickly, shall we? Oh, we had no cho choice there. He was glitching to the the frame of the whatever the statue was. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower. Okay, are we done? Pity. <laughs> that was horrible, man. That was just some horrible, horrible, horrible pass. Holy shit. Okay. Um. This one needs 24, but I know the, the next one needs 27. Me popping the Forbidden Forest. We can do that, because that should maybe lead to some fighting. I really just want to focus the main quest. Um, I need to get this done. Um, me popping the Forbidden Forest, but which part, man? Whatever, let's just go here. History. History. I'm falling asleep with your history. Just Uno Momentum. Adding an opening kind of pop. Hey, Centaurs. I found them, Poppy. I found the Centaurs. Wasn't that hard. And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. So much wisdom, Doran. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the moon calves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. Um, let's find a Snidget, yeah, let's go. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Are we running? Hello? Progression! What's up? Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening right now, boys.
why is this game so buggy man the closer you get to the end of the game the more buggy it becomes so i do think i know where this is and if it no okay no this is not it so <clears throat> maybe this is it i do believe it is yeah so the the uh, in the episode we got the moonstone that that round sphere with all the dots on it i've seen that before and i think this might have been here oh you can not sure how i'd fare in a little place like this you'll do wonderful just wonderful yep it's here and we'll have three statues how remarkable you'll see I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalfs made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. I'm ready as well. You'll see. Can you believe it? No, I can't. Actual Snidgets. Oh my god, it's so wonderful. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. <gasps> Needles. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from Hello. them. Hello. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Graham's research. There was a fair amount. Yeah, see? We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Greetings, Doran. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. This place. I've been here before. We should be long gone. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the moon? Her body is in the Can bring her. Her body. That was epic. Next. What are these pillars here? Defenders. Bombarda. I should maybe maybe move Avaragadabra down or oh, up. So let's think about this logically. So I have I can have four damaging spells so we can have this one bombarda Conf defendo contringo and then expelliarmus because this one is a close range spell right so i don't want to use this and then up here we can have this stupid spell this one and then this one because if i put it here it takes too long to recharge or to be useful and when I'm fighting normal enemies, I would like to cycle through these spells more than I would like to cycle through this one. So this one is when I see a boss, cycle up, use it, cycle down, continue to demonstrate my abilities. We're going to have to enter, yeah. So first we put the stone in here. Then we move. Do I have? No, okay. So let's just get some movement spells done, man. Lumos, Repero, no. So let's push it. I wonder if the pillars move at all. Well, I am moving it right now. I don't know where to put it. Let's see. Um, we have frost, and we have unknown. <laughs> but how do these how do these pillars work? That's the thing that I don't understand. They project light onto this. Perhaps thing. it has to do with the light in the darkness. Poppy, it can do about it can have something to do with about anything, and I wouldn't. Okay, holy shit. Okay, there we just said something. Another light popped up, but another one died down. Okay, so I've got the one symbol now, and I just need the frost back. Here. That did it. 
Look, Ross. Dorn, a doorway. An unknown. I suspect we all know what lies in your back passage. And now, I'm afraid I must leave you. Thank you, Doran. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Take care, Doran. Thank you. Lumos. Lumos. The Gilded Perch. Well, I hope there's a lot of fighting down here. I need to hit level 37 so we can just end this game. I don't want to just end it. You know, I'm not like bored of it, but Lumos. I've been playing this. I have more than almost 30 episodes. I need to render and upload. It's um, it's taking quite a toll on me, to be honest. So. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. No, but the thing is, who built this though? Like, who would have built this, and why? And. Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. By who though? They had nothing to fear. By who? What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feel. Come on, sir. Akio. At least. Guardian Leviosa. The sense I get here is of shape and calm. Leviosa. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Shut up. I'm not interested in your tragic backstory, woman. Yes, yes, you live with a family that was poaching animals and beasts and making them suffer. Yes, I get it. But that was not you. That was your parents. Stop loving your parents' mistakes. I wish people would learn that. You're not your parents. You never will be your parents. Wow, they were definitely keeping some kind of birds down here because those are bird nests. Good friend. Okay, why do I have multiple of these? Um, I'll just put this here. Lumos. Let's go now. Let's see what's in here, shall we? Confringo. Lumos. Money, an open chest. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. I can't wait to get out of here. I should really go sell these things. Um, I should also find another phoenix if possible. Um, because I need to breed every type of beast. Um, but I should probably just harvest the phoenix's feathers so I can do more upgrades. And I have a grab horn now as well, so you know I have to get another grab horn. Great horn. Great horn. Oh, golden nice. Confringo. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But Rebellion. Confringo. I did get hit with Confringo, didn't I? Akio. Oh, I'm gonna knock that thing off. <coughs> Jumbo Rupert. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Okay, so I just don't like that spell, so I'm just gonna remove it. Can bring up. Oh, there we go. Of course. How clever. Are those the snidgets? Look at this place. Or are those just dubs? Alright. What was that? Oh, 
How did they find us? Kidding them now? Because I'm sick of this. I tried doing the, the challenges. I doing the challenge, but that well. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I led them here, Torrance. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elik. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. One of those, ah, they are dials. The sun and the moon, eh? Snidgets, let me capture you all. Baby eggs. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to. I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. Nice textures, really good textures. I absolutely love those textures. Oh, no, oh, there's the most adorable looking thing ever. Merlin, they're lovely. But what happens now? They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance. <sighs> No harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. Why is my one glowing red? <laughs> Even Doran's looking at them like, oh my god, it's okay. Yeah. You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. 
Hi. Confringo. Revelio. Cigarettes. Show me your cigarettes. I know there's cigarettes here. I smell them. I smell my cigarettes. Confringo. And I'm up some chicken nuggets. <laughs> okay. Um, how are we doing on levels? Like, where, 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 where are we at? That's gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna do the main quest from from this point forward. See if we should get a lot of experience for completing the main quest. Um, you know that that map. Can I not? Uh, I cannot map. I need to walk out of here, of course. Come on, you goddamn poachers, fight me! No, okay. Take the potion, thank you. Why am I running out? What's gonna happen? Something gonna happen? Someone gonna face me? I'm I'm eager to fight you. I'm ready to uh, find this treasure chest. Rebellion. Thank you. Why is the music so creepy? Ah, oh, exit. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, so bright. That is actually really bright. Okay. We'll go to Hogwarts, uh, Hogsmeade, get the wand made. Hogsmeade, Isle of Wonders. Once we have this one, I'm going to go do the the battle arenas. Oh, here I come. They should actually give me out of oh jeez, what the hell is with this camera man? There's Ollivanders. I hope you he can help me craft the keeper's wand. What are we looking for today? Nothing. You said you had the latest and greatest um room upgrade, but it seems you lied to me, bro. Why you tell me lies? Why so many lies? There's so many good um uh items that I'm gonna I honestly hope when I go to a new game. With my other characters that I'm gonna oops yeah I should not sell that. Um when I play a game because I'm gonna play the game on the hardest difficulty. That all of these things carry over because I'll be really upset if I have to find all of them again. Because there's a shit ton of them. Like thanks for stopping. There's a really by. a big amount. Hope to see you again. Yeah. Um so just to show you, like collections. So, you know, I've almost fought every enemy. There's six enemies left. So I probably will find them. Clothing, there's 90 pieces of clothing in this game. That's a lot. Stylish, style clothing. Um, yeah, so I don't mind the Revelio pages, you know, and the beasts. Um, so yeah. Oh, get that Phoenix. I need to find another Phoenix so I can breed it. Um, and also another Grey Pawn. I think I've bred every, except the frogs. I haven't bred the frogs yet. But obviously I'll do that on my own time. So, anyways, let's continue. Um, so what I want to do... It's just wear my clothing again that I was wearing the other day. Um, actually, just want the one without, with just the t-shirt. I don't have it. I should have it. I had it. So I want this, but with the long pants. Eh, whatever. Nope. Oh, don't have it. it. Seems whatever. I'll get it later. I just want to wear casual clothing. Because I think I'm going to need to make a decision at the end of the game. I know what decision. I think I, I get the feeling that I know what decision it is that I'm going to have to make. So, you know. Mr. Ollivanders. Oh, should I? Stupid. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is 
Something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. Does it come in the box? Wow. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor <laughs> Fig implied in his letter, you see that the head coming that through it the glass. A unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? Yes. The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. They just tore this up, man. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Did he just kidnap me? No, I don't actually. To your knees. Expel the armor. Confront them. I'll rip your brain out your ears and see how you like it. You're only delaying the inevitable. Bombarder. Oh, I'm gonna bring up. Can you select the potion, bro? I'll have taken your life before you even realize it's gone. Bro, you ain't gonna be shit, but. Confront them. Pay for your deed. Uh, uh, what have you done? Bombarda. Uh, Expel the armor. Uh, a lamb killer. The Bingo. You are. Bombarda. Uh, Actually, I don't regret shit, bro. I never regret anything. That's my modern life. Just keep pushing forward. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. Oh, okay. Can I press it? No. Child. 
I'm pretty sure I'm aiming at this guy. What the hell? Wait, it, it, it is. There we go, Rockwood. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I might kill them. Though. I'll need to send an Alta Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Defender! Poor guy. He stood no chance. One less poacher. One less poacher scum. Did I kill him? Because I kind of hit him with a Varagadab, but I kind of thought that maybe. Uh, you know, that would have done it, but yeah, no, no, no. <sighs> Sebastian hits his uncle, but the he dies, I hit. Um, rock with it and he lives. Ah. And my intentions were very clear to kill, so there's that. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's Wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The keepers have been waiting. Is he really dead, though? You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials, to ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. No, I've learned that. Thank you. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Ooh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Astonishing. Oh, that must be the they way removed the plug. <laughs> So probably I'm going to be um, 
presented with two choices either destroy it or control it or just leave it I don't know I don't I don't want to control the power I have no interest in it we can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door the only thing that I want is Sebastian's love I want to make him feel whole again I want to hear Anne I hope that's still possible I mean, if I control the power, it should be gone. But if I take the power, I should hope that the enchantments mm. protecting oh, the shit. castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. There we go. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully, she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Why are we walking, man? Anyways. Huh? There's a drill. Damn, the goblins. Wonder if I'm not here. Let's go. It would have been nice if all my classmates, the which of, of which I helped dearly so, if it's came to my defense. Here, you know? It cannot be far behind. You and I have faced like the Like uh, uh, definitely hollow spot two scene. Yeah. War at Hogwarts. Ranrock, you will be pleased with how many I've just killed. Oh, just die with your stupid shield the whole time. That's what I'm, a, I'm taking damage on purpose because I want to use my potions. Because I brew all of them and, you know, don't get to use any of them. Oh, no. Never dead end, Professor. Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Very perceptive. My young friend. It worked. Let's go. Dumos? That's easy, you don't know. I fear you're right, Professor. Dumos? Professor, that way, can bring 
Uh, it's not that bad. I can I can manage. Another professor is gonna arrive. Yep. Anyway, here they here comes. What Hogwarts? Oh, the goosebumps, the chills. Professor Sharp, Eckert, Weasley. Only five. The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Make quick work of them. Oh. Oh. They got this. Come on, you can do this. Beautiful. Oh man. It would have been nice if there was more though. More more Why professors, more it? more army. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Professor. You got a professor. <laughs> Let me do my part, shall I? How nice of you to stop Push on, Professor. I saw something big. Yeah. Another troll. This one's worse than the last two. No, it's not. It's just about dead. Professor Sharp. Hello. No, oh, I yeah. another Professor joined. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm gonna kind of just drifting there, bro. Oh, hopefully none of them die. Oh no, that's support color. Not good. Is it gonna open a road for us? Wow. Beastly. Getting chased. Bye. Have a great time. Wow. You know, of all the fighting we've done this far, of everything we've done this far, a rock would have killed me. <laughs> Can you believe it? A goddamn rock. Come, Professor Fig, let's end this. I think Avaragadabra is like a cheat code, man. Are they gonna fight us? Yep. The one! Quickly! We just opened the, the, the path of Ranrock as well, so... Just gonna point that out, you know, unless he dug underneath, so... There she is. Is her body still here? I wonder if her body is still here. We made it. I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. No, you didn't. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. 
what Isadora showed you. You are now the keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? I to keep a control contained here. I intend to open it. Um. Poof. Okay, so to rationalize this decision, it's gonna be hard because if I take the power, there's a chance I can I can um, cure Anne and help Sebastian. If I don't take the power, there might be a very big chance that I can't cure Anne and that I lose Sebastian. But if I take the power, um, that's an evil ending. If I keep the power here, it's a good ending. Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just leave it here. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. Could have helped us. The keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? Let's keep it secret for now. I shall keep it a secret forever. I plan to keep it secret for now. But in time, when I am ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. Here comes Renro. Arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <laughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know where to give up either. Oh no. I didn't have much of a choice anyways. It was gonna destroy it either way, right? Oh, let's do this bitch. I'm gonna kill you one shot. One opportunity, not forgetting. Oh, of course. Turn into a dragon. Little BC. Come on. Come on. Come to Daddy. Daddy wants to bless you. Stop 
Me. I'm stronger than you. I've always been stronger than you. Than I guess. Not much of I'm gonna one shot this guy. I'm fighting with your own damn power. Kill him. Why don't these he is? Just fight me in your own form, bro. You're not that strong. Eat them, my plants. Eat his feet.
Kill him, Rupert. Kill him. No. There's no body, I'm not happy. I wish you could see the chills that I have. Professor. Miriam. Love them more than you did. The wizarding world could not be in more capable hands. You're still breathing. I can see that I can. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I could I could have seen his breath. Oh well. I knew he was going to die from the start. It's kind of just how these games are. Um, developers are kind of lazy with story writing, to be honest. It's always like we have to kill a character to create some emotional or some kind of um, connection to the game or whatever. <coughs> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge. He built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. <laughs> this guy's an idiot. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! 
I, I, to Professor Fink. I believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Brad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I, I'll let you know. Sebastian. There's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait. What? What are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the Loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. It never Omelette is. said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. Here we go. That's it. That's the end. That the, no, that's the way the Jobbernals meet. I still haven't found the Whomping Willow. <laughs> yeah. Because in Harry Potter, in the second movie, it, or second book and movie, it says that the Whomping Willow has been on the ground for many of hundreds of years. Which doesn't seem to be the case. <sighs> Congratulations, you've completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of your school here. With your OWL exams, I suppose now is a good time to review your field guide progress. Explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storylines and side relationship storylines. There's no relationships, man. And side quests and complete your field guide as you see fit. And boom, we're done. Well, <sighs> closing thoughts before we end this episode. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I don't really have much to say. I think it was uh, it was a wonderful game. It did what the developers wanted it to do. Um, so that's uh, the port key games, you know, logo. Um, I would. There's a few things that I'm more disappointed in than that I'm not. So let's just go over the negatives quickly. Um, I don't like that you learn the uh, the forbidden curses on uh, unforgivable curses. So late in the game. I don't like that at all. I think that adding it so late into the game just is kind of a waste. Because what do you do now? Now I have to go around and do a side quest. None of it has really any meaning to it anymore. There's no big bosses anymore. There was like big spiders and trolls. And uh, and then of course the god of the trials. Those are the bosses. Victor Rockwood was like very easy to kill. We just have Varukadabra at him once. Once we found him between all the smaller pieces of chests that were roaming around. And that's it. There was no big bosses. There was no epic fights, no epic duels. Um, we had once, twice, we had um, connecting duel blasts, like in a Harry Potter, the, the final movie, you know, uh, and well, and obviously the third one, fourth one, sorry, Goblet of Fire, um, and then obviously again in the final when they when their wands, clashing wands meet, um, and that's it. There, there was no big bosses. You have all of this this huge game, and all you gave me was trolls and. Freaking spiders. That's it. I'm I'm sorely really disappointed. Um they could have at least made um 
some of the formidable foes, but difficult, more more niche to kill, but they didn't. Um, I, I don't like that there's no relationship, there's no a romance in this game. I think that would have done well, you know. Um, but then the goods, the goods are many, the goods are plenty. It's uh, the game, oh, well, not about it, is the game ran like shit. So I guess at this point, it's no secret that I have a 4090. So you can see it up there. Um, we get 120, 120 to 120 frames in this game. Uh, everything ma maxed out. Um, when I first initially launched the game, we were getting 200 and something to 300 frames. Um, and then they, they patched, they patched something and then it kind of came down a lot to the frames. So, I mean, that's not a problem, but it, it is what it is. Um, but the goods, let's talk about the goods. It was a fantastic game. It, it gave you a very good story. Um, I feel the Professor Fig shouldn't have died, personally. Um, but also, your choices have no consequences. The, 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 the advertisement of this game, the whole big advertisement of the game was live the unwritten, make your choices with consequences. It had nothing, no consequences. So, to give you an example, I knew the ending of this game before I started playing this game, right? And I knew every um, NPC, um, uh, basically, if you think about a, a family tree, think about the NPC dialogue and, uh, like, consequences, affections, and effects, right? I knew that if I told Ominous that he sh they should turn um, Sebastian in, he will go to the Ministry of Magic and he will be charged. I knew that before I even did that. So I said, no, don't get him in. So he was present in the, the hall afterwards, right? That's the only choice that you can make. But further, the whole story, there's just no choices, man. Nothing you do. Like, even if I told, well, when we were un with, for the final repository underneath Hogwarts, if I said, no, I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to, it would not have mattered. Professor Fig would have been, oh, no, I can't believe you said that. That is so sad. I am so dis and then Rockwood of um, not Rockwood, Rangok would have still just exploded it, and I would have that choice that I made would have had a zero consequences or impact on the story itself. Um, I feel very disappointed that that is the case in this game. Um, I feel this is such a big game. It's literally it's such a big game. Um, I have more than uh, 50 hours in the game, but my story alone had 37 hours. Um, and if you look at my challenges, I'm not even nearly done with it as well with the quests. Like, I still have, um, that's 15 more qu side quests to do. That's a, probably a 4 or 5 hours. So at least 40 hours of play. And none of the decisions I made throughout the game did anything, right? And the positives, they are plenty, but they are not as big as the negatives. Like, the game looks pretty. The characters is good, the dialogue is good, the combat is fluent and nice. Uh, the spells are nice, but then again, the spells are limited. The game runs like shit, you know? Like, I mean, at this, at this level of, um, uh, performance gear, I have a 40, 4090, right? RTX 49, I have a 30, uh, 7950X. I have 64 gigs of RAM, right? I'm running this game over M.2. It should not give me issues. It should not stutter when I move from one area to another, but it, but it does. And that's the thing. Um, but this game is not half baked though. That's that's the good thing. That is the good thing. It's that the game was released, but it's not half baked. We don't have like it's not completed. You have there's so many bugs in this game as well. But eventually bugs can be ironed out. Like let's take Cyberpunk's launch. It was horrible. This is not the same. But I can't say like, I enjoyed it. Hopefully, I think that the character development and the character progression was very nice, and I really enjoyed it. How how you step for step. But then again. I am not satisfied with the spells. Like, look at this. So we got um, Confringo, fire. We got uh, Incendio, which is fire, right? We got two fire spells. And we got one electricity spell, which is Bombarda. And then one frost spell. And that's it. And then we have slicing and, exp um, and then obviously disarming. But the Reducto is not here. I've heard an NPC use Reducto. There was a big a fire spell that the guy was and he would swirl his wand and this entire tornado fire would appear it was the one where they would s strike lightning to the ground there were so many good spells in the game but what did we get we get arrest of momentum okay glacius L leviosa right we get levioso but then we also get Le Le lungardium levioso right like what, what, what's the point and transfer um transformation spell of course of transfiguration 
That's stupid. Then we get, we not only get Accio, but we get the Pulso, but then we get the, um, uh, Flipendo as well, which is exactly the same goddamn spell, but this one just flips you and this one just pushes you. Guess which does more damage? It's this one. This one is fine. It's to bring people down. You, see, you can do this. You can push them and flip them, knock them into the air and push them down to the ground. It does a lot of damage. It's great. Um, I feel that there's some spells that would have been great, like uh, Lumus Maxima. I feel that if they want to add more content to the game, and I honestly hope that other, um, you know, YouTubers and gamers in general just talk about this as well, make spell progressive. Like, um, get this, and then it turns into this. Right? Get Lumos, right? And then it turns into Lumos Maxima. Right? Get Repara, it's fine. But then you can have these spells from Fringo, and it can become more stronger and stronger as you use it. Um, it's like, um... Some games you have to use like a weapon a lot to get stats for the weapon and then the weapon you can do upgrades for the weapon You know that sort of thing that would be nice But uh, yeah, so in if I did if you don't choose to learn these spells, right? Then you fight a troll and you can get the the potion, right? Um, you can get the potion the maximum potion But then you have to freaking hit it like six times with each of these spells just to kill one troll and constantly hit it with Z and X so yeah, um, but yeah, but I absolutely enjoyed the game. I think it was wonderful. I'm definitely going to play it again. Um, I'm just going to save you. I'm definitely going to play it again. Um, but I'm going to play it on the hardest difficulty. And then I'm going to also um, play the game. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to try to be completely nice. Not learn all the death spells and all this shit. So yeah. But anyway, this has been Hogwarts Legacy. Um, it leaves much to be desired, but it also does satisfy your um, Harry Potter itch if you have one. Um, if you haven't played it yet and you're looking to play this, just take this, um, last thing that I'm going to say into consideration. The game is extremely fun in the beginning. When you discover all the areas, the new places, the, the puzzles and all that. Extremely fun. Right? Sorry about that. It's always annoying people that exist in life. Um, but then eventually that curiosity, that excitement, that magic dies down. And then the game becomes just very stale near the end. Um, I do agree that with the long gone and the phoenix which you get later on in the game, it kind of makes it again exciting and adds some more flavor to it. But yeah. But if you're a Harry Potter fan, the game is good. It's very good. Um, you'll have fun for the first 20 hours and then you'll have to push yourself to get through the rest of it because it just becomes very similar. Anyways, thank you so much for me. I have been Hasha Plays. This has been Hellgood's Legacy. I'll check in whatever I'm going to play next. It's probably going to be um, the new game that's coming out. I forgot the name now. Atomic Heart. There we go. So yeah, but I'll check you then for now. Peace. I'm out for the last time. Hogwarts Legacy, baby.